Hello, I'm playing Automation and I've just been running through the tutorials. This one really struck me as quite quite a funny quite a funny tutorial. It's the guy built a performance engine but then the people who was building it for were like, ah, oh, it's not green enough. Make make us a green engine, it has to be little and stuff. So like the mission is called Stupid Small. <laughs> it definitely lives up to it when I actually built the motor. Like you have to measure it thirty centimeters by thirty-five by thirty centimeters. You know those rulers you use in school to like draw lines and stuff. This this is the same size as a thirty centimeter ruler. Is that tiny little thing over there is the engine itself? It's freaking tiny. All right, so let's zoom in on it. Visible, so I know where it is. Right, so it's I've gone along the path of a cross plane V8 rather than the inline four, but just because I wanted to do something different. I've made plenty of four cylinders. I had to go minimum bore and stroke because the size limitation was a bitch. Alright, so I've gone direct acting to OHC, overhead cam, because it was the lightest and it allows me to do what I want to anyway, aluminium block and head. Uh, cam profile is really long stand cam that I've gone for a VTEC, yo, a VTEC V8 with a hectic cam profile on the VTEC range. Natu naturally aspirated and um, I went with carburetors because they were let's just make it bigger I'll show how much more space it takes up if you go direct injection see that intake there going out the front that that was making me lose so I, I had to stay with the carburetors because they were more compact in a certain sense that's kind of retarded uh, premium unleaded, it's running fairly lean and really high ignition timing and because it's running almost 10,000 RPM. 1.75, 1 and 3 quarter inch exhaust. Tubular headers, because they, oh my god, look at them. <laughs> I did not even realise that. That's hilarious. Um, but yeah, they are... Uh, fairly light and not too expensive with no catalytic converter because there's no like emissions things I have to worry about and um, also it's a lot lighter then I've just got like a baffled and a reverse flow muffler, I would have two reverse flows but I um, wanted to save a bit of money and weight so I think that's everything, I'll go on to a free run test Vita kicks in and four grand will be like what? Yeah, yeah, you can see the funny little power curve due to the uh, variable cam timing. And it's an easy pass. 
I got rank silver. I got rank bronze after I got the like the first time I tried it. First time I put the parts together, I passed on everything except for uh, weight and dimensions. <laughs> so I had to tinker around to try and make it lighter and smaller. And there you have it. The stupid small V8. It's, it's literally freaking tiny. It's about the size of the mufflers. <laughs>